going on everybody so i'm back um rob painless uh tagged me in a challenge vr questions whatever you want to call it there were 10 questions you guys you know pretty much um referring to what's going on with the covid thing 10 questions he wanted me to answer so uh actually i think it's nine because one of them was actually repeat so i'm going to do nine um the first was how many rolls of toilet paper do you have well that's a good question um, I had plenty of toilet paper stocked way before uh, this whole COVID thing happened. I probably conservatively have right now about 60 or so rolls, which, you know, isn't bad considering I'm a family of uh, four, which um, is growing, as you all know, so I'll probably need more eventually. But I got about 60 rolls. Um, next question was, the biggest change for me since lockdown? Well... I haven't had much change. Um, I am now living in the middle of nowhere, so there hasn't been much change for me. Um, the only change for me is when I go out dealing with people being stupider than usual out in Walmart and public and stuff. Other than that, I haven't had much of a change. Number three is what am I grateful for? Well, the thing I'm most grateful for is having my family, have my family close by, and by family I also mean my close friends. Those of you who know me know me well. That I consider my close friends just as much family as my blood relatives. So, I'm very thankful for my family and being able to have them around and them to spend time with. They're what keeps me sane. They're my rocks, you know. Um, the other question was, what have you gone without lately? Um, I haven't gone without much. Um, I pretty much have everything I need, in all honesty. So there's not much I've gone without. Um, what am I missing the most? Well, that's a good question. There is something I miss a lot during this situation, and that is my parents back home in New York. Um, I do miss them a lot, um, especially, you know, I worry about them. My mother with her, her current health situation, those of you who know me and been watching the channel for a while know her, her situation. And, um, you know, definitely missing them right now, missing being there with them physically so I can help out. Always, of course, I'm worried about them in New York being a hot spot for the COVID thing, but... You know, they're doing all right. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know, so my father's more than prepared for everything, so they're doing okay. Um, but I do miss them. That's probably what I miss most. But last time I've been to a campsite, well, been a long time. However, I did get out the old Hillary tent, the big Hillary tent the other day, and set it up out in the yard. It was letting my, my, my boy run around and playing in it. But it's been a long time since I've been to a campsite of camping, and... Uh, Hopefully, once the weather warms up a little bit more, I might get out there and do that soon, with uh, at least with my daughter, if anything else. My favorite quarantine food? Well, I'm more than stocked up on food, so uh, my favorite quarantine food would still have to be the good old-fashioned bacon cheeseburger on the grill with uh, a little bit of uh, barbecued uh, yellow squash with some salt and pepper and, uh, you know, a nice side of baked potato. You know, that would be my favorite quarantine food. How am I exercising and staying healthy to stay healthy? Well, um, I have my own little home gym in the uh, basement. I got my own weight bench, my weights, you know, plus just working out, keeping busy around the homestead here. Um, those of you who have known me know that I'm very big in physical fitness as part of prepping and training. However, as much as I'm still kind of in shape, I'm still, uh, I feel like I got more of a dad bod growing lately, but you know, that comes to the territory with all the kids, right? That's why they call it dad bod. Um, so that's pretty much all the questions. The final one that I have was, who would I, you know, name me some people to, uh, you know, answer these 10 questions. I don't have any on the top of my head, but I will get some soon. Um, I'll come up, I'll put them in the list below, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll name them in the description, and then uh, you guys can check them out. I gotta make sure that no, they're already not doing this for somebody else before I rattle off some names right now because I did not check that. So there you go. There's my uh, my n answers to my nine questions. Um, probably not the most exciting answers in the world, um, but that's just me. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay and staying safe during this craziness. You know, um, I do want to uh, say this on top of uh, things that I'm missing most. Aside from my family, if you want to talk about what I'm missing most in the, amidst the craziness in the real world, the outside world, is I miss, there's always stupidity amongst people, but I miss there being little less.
everybody seems to be going off the rails lately with this COVID thing, and I'm not saying it's not to be taken serious, so you shouldn't take, you know, or you should take it lightly, you should take it serious, especially if you're a person with, you know, a lot of underlying conditions and stuff, but, I mean, come on, give me a fucking break, everybody needs to relax a little bit, you know, people are going off the freaking rockers right now, bananas, and people fighting over gasoline, I mean, there's a, there's a freaking, uh, uh, an ammunition shortage that's been starting up again over this I mean it, it's insane the whole toilet paper shortage stuff all that stuff these shortages are not formed because of a shortage of production these shortages start out as a shortage due to panic because people panic by some asshole like I mean of course you know yeah I've been out of New York for a while but I, I have to keep up with what the asshole governor Cuomo wants to say in New York and you know, that man has put the state into such a state of panic. That's why it's, that's why they're off the rails, you know. That's why everybody's going so nuts. And like, at least 67% of the problem is that man's fucking mouth opening up every morning on the news. But I promised myself I wasn't going to go too crazy on this COVID thing because everybody's doing videos on it. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm trying not to, uh, you know, divulge too much of my inner thoughts about this whole thing. Because not that I'm afraid to offend people. You guys know I'm not afraid about offending people, but... Uh, it's my right, my freedom of speech, my right to do so. But I, uh, in the interest of courtesy to my fellow subscribers and friends, I'm going to keep my COVID opinions mostly to myself. But for the most part, a lot of this is going on is mass panic, in my opinion. But it is a serious situation. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling on. Um, those are my questions. You can see my uh, my wonderful handwriting there, right? It looks terrific, right? Aren't you guys glad that... Uh, can read my hand right so anyway um that's it i hope i got the questions right i was trying to listen to the questions of rob with a baby screaming in the background and climbing on my lap but um i think i listened to all your questions so i think i answered them all hopefully i did if i didn't let me know i hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's staying safe i will try to get some videos soon i know i keep saying that but life is a bitch and uh it's been a little bit hectic, not because of the COVID so much. It's been hectic because of my own personal private life. No other reason. But anyway, I will talk to you all soon. I love, an each, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. All right, that sounds kind of cheesy. Thanks for subscribing. But thank you for subscribing. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Have a good one.